but he's making up for it today. Aggressive move. Speaking of aggressive, Simon Fallon. Oh, no. Gets into the back of Craig Lowndes and cannonballs into him at turn two. And there's big damage to both cars. The triple seven was never going to stop. Yeah, you could tell from it's the minute uh, Fallon had a locked up tyre, you knew that was not going to be a great outcome. Craig Lowndes, the innocent bystander there, drilled while he's turned into turn two. And there's a fire around the rear of the car there too. So that's from the exhaust and a little bit of the uh, carbon fibre bodywork there. Parked in front of the Scandia barbecues sign at the exit of turn two. And that's far from ideal. That's fluid there, but the engine's in the rear. I'm suggesting that's engine oil, yep. so that is quite flammable. We see the crews on the scene here, which is great. Our fireys and that do a fantastic job getting to the scene. And remarkably, Fallon's car's still going. So Craig's car's caught the absolute brunt of that impact, turning him innocently into turn two. And that's big damage. And for wall racing, it's a massive blow. This team undermanned this weekend because they're running on minimal staff. They're a Sydney-based outfit, so... You, they left New South Wales three weeks ago now to make sure they could be here to race this weekend, but they can only bring minimal crew up to do that. So they're running two cars on five people in total. So it's basically one and a half guys per car, plus the engineering staff. And Fallon's car's got damage on the right front. So I'd say he's been told to park that because it'll have radiator damage. And you can see the coolant coming out of the right front corner there. And that's what happens with these Porsche cars. The radiator's right at the front, and it just that damage just put a hole in the radiator or broke the radiator. Replay the start. You see David Wall creeping from the outside front row. This is on board with Harry Jones. What was his start like? Pretty good compared to those in front, but nowhere really to go here. You see him looking up the inside of Craig Lowndes through this fast turn one kink. Little lift to the throttle there. And now we have a bit of a look to see where he does here. Does he move up the inside of Craig here? No, okay, just settles in nicely. Fallon on the outside, so he made a really good start. Just his third race meeting back, young Simon, after a couple of years in the racing wilderness on the sidelines. Lots of the old hip and shoulder and front to rear contact as well. And this was that move for Murray. This is just full send. We saw so much of this in the race yesterday. He was right on him through the, the two corners before. Like, it's hard to follow close at high speed. This is a replay of Simon Fallon. Look at that right front lock. Absolutely no chance of stopping it. Nearly threaded the needle between the gap there. Unfortunately, Craig Lowndes and now Simon Fallon both out of the race. It's a big impact. Big, big impact. Back of the Painter Dixon Porsche. The series sponsor and a long-time backer of Wall Racing stepped up to make sure Craig could be on the grid for this weekend. Two-car program. Still smiling. I don't know how. Catching up with Team Medical Australia down there. But he played no role in that incident whatsoever. He was the unlucky one there.